And we're back. Oof. My voice is getting a little sore there. I was doing a Q&A with the, the Twitch chat there for a while, for like 20 minutes. Anyway, we're back in game and we're looking around and I've moved some things around off camera. Like I was explaining to people how combat with works and stuff like that. So I think we're like three or four days from where we left off. Um, I have built some new tanks some some of them finished uh, off camera. And that put us over the 24 size limit for Alphonse Ewan's army. So I took out the motorized from that army and I put them into the uh, infantry divisions. I may take the motorized out and put them in their own army. Uh, I might do that because motorized are just very, very valuable for being quick for like capturing cities. But uh, for now, I'm just going to leave them in the main army with Maxime Wagand. I trust him, right? I trust him. And at the moment, uh, this is kind of a stalemate. And there's been some good suggestions from Twitch chat. Like, why are you bombing the Baltic Sea? Russia's never going to undock. Right. So why don't we bomb the Black Sea where we know that he has some ships in Sevastopol. So let's get these planes down here to Bessarabia. And can I get some more naval bombers in Bessarabia? I bet I, I bet I can. Let's see. Naval bombers. Uh, carrier naval bomber. Oh, there we go. Get all those suckers and get your ass to Bessarabia. And I want you guys in whatever this is. Apparently it's Ukraine, and I want you to bomb everything that you can in Ukraine. Now he's probably gonna shift his fighters over there, but we can just do the same, right? We can just shift some fighters down there as well. Currently our fighters are hiding in Eastern Poland because, uh, well, it's just dangerous, man. It's, it's freaking dangerous. We're just taking too many losses over there. Now, Poland or someone has 672 fighters there, so it might make sense for us to um, get up and try again, perhaps. Uh, at the very least, we should get, get these other planes out there doing some some work because they're not they're not taking any losses yet. So get out there and do some work, boys. And in case Russia attacks, they will assist in the defense of the front line. Now, what's interesting about this is we can't tell them to go bomb the Russian troops in Belarus or Ukraine or anything. I mean, we could. We could specifically say, say hey, go bomb them in Belarus or, hey, go bomb them in Ukraine. But they won't actually do that unless there's combat going on. So to get these guys to actually do some work, to actually bomb enemy units, you have to be fighting at that time. So the question is, are we going to be fighting on the offense or on the defense? If it's on the defense, then we should have our planes in eastern Poland. That way they will uh, assist in defensive combat because that's the defensive combat is in eastern Poland. But the offensive combat is in Belarus or Ukraine. So it's like, ah, I wish I could just say, hey, bombers, I want you to bomb these troops and just give them a range like, hey, bomb these troops. And I don't care if it's going to be in eastern Poland side of the line or the Belarus side of the line. Just bomb those troops wherever the hell they are. But you can't do that. You have to specifically state which side of the line you're going to bomb. Isn't that weird? Uh, I'm going to put the fighters over. Let's see. Yeah, let's go here to no Novogrodek. Yeah, let's go to Novogrodek and heal up over there. We're still building fighters, right? Yeah, we're still building fighters. Okay. And I think I need another line of light tanks. Actually, how many artillery do we have? We have 4K artillery. Okay. So chat was suggesting, since since we're missing 6,000 tanks and we have 4,000 artillery, let's swap our design around to not use tanks, but instead use artillery. So a artillery there. And just use a couple of those. Uh, take out, no, no, not a couple of those. Use one of those, wait, what? Let's just do that. Combat with 21, it's not ideal. Oh, I, I, I can't do that. Oh, 19. Oh, no, no. My combat width, it's all messed up. I'm just going to take the tank out. I'm not going to add artillery for now. No, but we have artillery. Fine. There. Okay. Combat with 20. I'm going to gain a whole bunch of soft attack. I'm going to lose some defense, though. Uh, yeah, done. Okay, so how does that affect things? We still have positive artillery. And we now are only out 3,000 tanks. And these are only for the tank divisions. So adding light tanks to the infantry divisions would be nice, but we just don't have any light tanks right now. So this is probably a better option. Okay, our naval bombers have arrived in Ukraine and they're gonna be getting shot down. That's okay. But look at this, we're now bombing the Sevastopol port. So let's kill these Russian ships. It'll be glorious. 
Concentrated Industry 4, alright. Construction 4, alright. There we go, we, we sunk a submarine, nice. That's right, sink those silly Russian submarines. Yeah, these naval bombers are doing work, look at that. Gotta love naval bombers, man. They're getting shot down so fast, though. <laughs> oh, man. All right, mechanized focus is done. Gives us a research bonus for mechanized models. That's fine. Let's see, research bonus for light tanks and medium tanks. Sure. Another submarine down, but we're losing airplanes so quickly here. Wow. Yeah, let's cease operations for now. We'll put them back out there soon enough. But holy crap, that's just a lot of fighters to shoot, to shoot down. Look at all these fighters. There's so many Russian fighters. And there's bombers in the Baltic. Maybe we should send our fighters up there to get rid of their bombers. Eh, nah. Nah. Is there any fighting going on? I don't see any fighting going on. Let's test the line here. What do they have? They have seven divisions there. Wow, and we're actually pushing them. Really? Three divisions are pushing seven? Huh, look at that. Wow. That was so easy. This is Minsk, right? Yeah, Minsk is worth 200 points. Let's see if we can grab Minsk. <laughs> uh, maybe. He has 13 divisions in Minsk. I don't think we're going to be grabbing this very easily. No. All right, what do we have down here? Five divisions. No. Interesting that my allies are not helping with these pushes. Like, they're just standing by and watching. That is really weird. Oh, there's no one here. Why is there no one here? <laughs> what? He has like a million divisions. This should not happen. Uh. Why is this happening? Take your airport. Let's see if we can get Minsk surrounded here. Yeah. Yeah, why not? Minsk will be surrounded in a couple seconds. Like, why is this allowed? Why, why was there a tile with no Russian troops? What the hell? <laughs> Isn't that weird? That's weird, right? That doesn't make any sense. All right, now I definitely, since, the, since we've pushed into Belarus, I definitely should move all of my uh, planes to Belarus. Because this is where we're going to be doing the fighting. Oh, close air support can't reach. Okay. Uh, close air support. Can we move up? Is there room anywhere? Mm, there's not really any room. Well, I can take two of you here. And the last one should be able to fit somewhere. Here? Sure. All right, we're good. Because now we know that we're going to be bombing stuff, or bombing units in uh, Belarus. Because this is where the fighting is happening. So a distraction battle here, so that this horse cannot reach here. 
We have units moving into this tile. I just need to distract this horse for a little bit. What the? Why would you stop the attack? I don't understand. There we go. And now these guys will die. Yeah, we have... We're bombing them. We're bombing them, baby. They have 30% penalty because of low supplies. And that's only going to get worse. I wonder how many units are trapped here. There's 12 divisions on that tile. Yeah, he is just getting crushed here. Let's put th put on the pressure. Nice. So 12 divisions there. Uh, another there's 12 here and 12 here. Oh my goodness, there's a lot of units here at Minsk. And they're all going to die. Yep. Oh my goodness. How many units are there? 34 divisions. Wow. Just wow. All right, we finished some new equipment. Nice, nice. Ah, uh, it's a little early for that. We get motorized going, or mechanized. I don't know if we're gonna use mechanized for a little while. We will eventually, so getting the research done is smart, but maybe we're not gonna use it for a little while. We get our new boat designs. Let's get our new boat designs. Well, there goes 34 divisions. Goodbye. All right. Wow. <laughs> Yeah, that was definitely 34 divisions. Feels good, man. Feels good. And that all started because Russia left one tile with no units in it. I, I don't know why they left no, no units there seems like a poor decision but what do i know maybe they have some grand plan that i'm unfamiliar with all right our troops are repositioning after that so they're using railroads to get around how are the naval bombers doing they're almost up to recovered numbers uh, how's Belarus looking pretty good they're not even challenging us here which is very interesting why wouldn't they challenge us here i don't know I'm gonna put our fighters to work in Belarus. Assembly line production, excellent. That's another fifth. That's another twenty percent production efficiency. That puts our production efficiency cap at one hundred percent. So good, so good. Oh, we can get the next medium tank. Let's do it. We're not even gonna build medium tanks. We're probably just gonna go straight from light tanks to modern tanks. That's my guess. But we might as well get the research done. Make another pocket in the north. Uh. Well, you could try, but there's 15 divisions there. This is Portugal, by the way. Portugal's over here trying to make a pocket, or trying to make a snake anyway. 
The AI loves to make snakes. I'm not a really big fan of snakes. Snakes are when they just say, hey, I'm going to go straight line all the way across, you know, whatever. Instead of pushing a front line, they go for a snake. All right, how are you guys feeling about an attack? What do you guys think? Fortified, estimated plan value, okay. Superior enemy. Now, I don't know about that. I mean, they definitely have a lot of troops. Let's switch over to our war economy. Nice. They definitely have a lot of troops, but I wouldn't say they're a superior enemy. They don't seem to fight very effectively, to be honest. But yeah, being fortified is a problem, especially when you have, like, yeah, look at that. There's uh, forts over here, too. I was doing on equipment. We're mainly just missing light tanks. Well, if we have everything else, and it looks like we do, then we'll probably want to push with the infantry division before we ever push with tanks. So I think we just give it a go. Let's see how well this push goes. Okay, you ready? Okay, that is terrible. Look at all those red bubbles. Nope. Cancel that shit. Well, we gave it a shot, right? We tried. <laughs> red bubbles everywhere. Red means you're losing. So let's not do that. Snakes are good in multiplayer because it makes the other players mad. Yeah, I bet they do. Yeah, Britain and Japan are sort of having fights over here. You can see Japan was kicked out of Borneo. And Britain has taken Taiwan. So I think Britain has the upper hand. They certainly, they certainly have um, some better equipped troops than Japan does. But... Give Japan time. It'll be a powerhouse. Let's see. How much is Vitebsk work? It's only worth 50 points. <laughs> Currently at 86% participation. Portugal's participation is casualties. Well, at least you're putting in the effort, Portugal. At least you're putting in the effort. So how do we deal with the uh, the Russian menace? We could try paradrops. Like we could probably paradrop from Western Poland to Belarus, or from Belarus to Belarus, because we have the airport, right? Let me ask Poland for Minsk. Because then I can uh, build up the airport here. And the infrastructure, too. Let's put that at the top of the list. Infrastructure, baby. Some new submarines, why not? Yeah, we may want to put our, put our troops at certain locations instead of just everywhere. Uh, let's um, let's try that. Let me get off the Romanian border because that's a river crossing anyway. And let's shrink this front line down as well to there. And we'll say our front line is just going to be this right here. And we'll try to push. Uh, let's say instead of there, Why you have to be let's mad? push here and. Like this. And just a more sensible push. Right? Let's try that. Get all of our troops up to a concentrated location where we can actually do some good. Is this still Belarus? This is still Belarus. Perfect. So this will count for our push. But yeah, there are definitely some key cities here that I want. Gomel's worth 100 points. Kiev is worth 250 points. Bryansk is 100 points, Smolensk is 150 points, Rezev is 10 points, Kalin 100 points, Pskov is 30 points, 50 points, 300 points, another 10 points, uh, 50 points. Yeah, there's a lot of points to grab if we grab some of these cities here. 
What about these guys? Odessa, 100 points, 10 points, 100 points, 10 points, uh, 200 points for Sevastopol. Not bad. Yugoslavia wants to send armies. Portugal, sure. 87 divisions from Poland. Yes. Poland just gave me his army, essentially. Right? Yeah, Poland's got eight troops left. Okay. So let's take all of our unassigned troops and let's put them into one army. And what we'll do is we'll have two concentrated fronts. That is a lot of Polish troops. I guess he's doing this because we're the faction leader. I don't know. I don't know why nations don't want to use their own fucking armies. They just don't. Like, here, you, you fight this war. I mean, it's fine. I, I can probably make better decisions than the AI. Probably. I, I don't want to pat myself on the back too much there. But I imagine the player can at least think outside of the box, and the AI cannot. So the AI is stuck to its programming. I'll put these guys in a second army. Under uh, Alphonse George. All right, Alphonse. It's the Foreign Legion. You have a nice color. And why don't we put you guys in the in the south? Yeah, Portugal seems to have a lot of troops in the north, so we'll put you guys in the south. Right here up to the river. Okay. And we'll move this line up here. And we'll have concentrated pushes. So you will push to there. Meanwhile, the Foreign Legion will push to here. I think that's fair. So hopefully Portugal keeps units up here and we'll hold the line while we shift. At least that's the hope, right? We'll see. How well equipped are these guys? What are you missing? You're missing artillery and anti-tank guns? Why? Well, I don't have any anti-tank guns for you. Well, hopefully Poland will give you some anti-tank guns or some shit, because I'm not building that crap. You bring your own damn supplies to this fight. Now, yellow guy, look at this. He thinks he's incredibly strong compared to the enemy. Nope, now he says the enemy is stronger. What? He went from a solid green to a solid red bar. What changed? I didn't see any units shifting on the, on the um, Russian front. I don't know. Use the rivers to, to divide the push. Well, the problem is there's just no way to like make it perfect because as they push forward, they're going to spread out. Hey, the Jean Bart class. Nice. Let's get the Gascon and switch out the carrier to the new design. Actually, don't even finish that one. Don't even finish that one. Just make the new one. 22 days of production, whatever. And I want you to have 40 and 30. Perfect. Light Cruiser 3. Sounds good. And we need more oil. Always more oil. Okay. Those are not my attacks. Those are Romanian attacks. Damn it, I wish you would stay to your own front line, Romania. You can't coordinate with allies. That's probably one of the worst things is you cannot coordinate with your allies. Like Romania, just hold your own front line, damn it. Stop moving up here. And Portugal, just hold the north. You know, it's like, I just wanna, just wanna coordinate a little bit. We can't do that. All right, how do you feel about an attack, sir? 
enemy is superior. No, it's not. It doesn't say this superior. It says we're still preparing. Friendly air superiority. And divisions are... No, just go for it. I want to see green numbers here. Yes, green numbers. We're pushing the line, baby. Pushing the line with the foreign troops. Which is perfect, because then we don't take manpower hits. Oh no, the numbers went red. Why would the numbers go red? Uh, I don't know. Push! Ooh, a green number. Nice. Man, this is rough. We're still 1k tanks in deficit. Which means pushing in the north is going to be tough. Well, we're going to get one tile, which will trap some units here. There are 11 divisions that we can kill on this tile. They will be trapped. But this push in the south just went to nothing in a hurry. It looked like a good start, and then it just failed utterly. But hey, we made a pocket. We made a... Wait, what? How did you... How did we not have a... What? The, okay, back to a... What? What? What is even happening? Did you see that? What was all that about? Okay, there we go. Pocket achieves. Oh god, 31% attrition? It's because of poor supplies, but I can't really get better supplies here. This attrition is killing me. Like, maybe we just shouldn't even bother with this push. Yeah, let's just stop. This attrition is murder. Oh my goodness, this attrition. storm is not helping. There's a storm as well. God, out of supply, out of supply, out of supply. But yeah, these guys are all dead. That feels good, man. A couple more Ruskies down the drain. Puts them at, uh, let's see. We've lost 32k. Come on, I want to see total dead Russians here. I want to see all the Russians dead here. Come on, do it. Make them dead. Squish them flat. Good. Yes. It's just a tank now. But tanks have shit organization, and he's gone. All right, that puts Russia at 480,000 compared to our 32k. Wow. How am I only at 66%? Oh, because Poland's casualties are so high. Yes. That's how Poland gets war scores, they get casualties. There's not much else I can do here. We're done with our national focus, pretty much. There's a couple small bonuses to go. Maybe we should just skip national focus and uh, focus on filling up our cabinet. All right, you guys ready? I think we're ready. Let's do a push. Why aren't you guys pushing? Push means attack, by the way. I don't know what push means in French. I don't know how to say push in French, but in English, it means go. It means don't be a pussy, go. There's no one here. Nice. I'll take that tile. <gasps> I 
Well, the push in Ukraine has uh, done nothing at all. It's so sad. Stop. At least up here we're making a little bit of headway. But oh my god, this lack of organization due to being out of supplies. Ah. There needs to be a way to tell your allies to go away so that I can actually recuperate some supplies. All right, I'm going to put the Foreign Legion up here. I'm going to nope the fuck out with our army. Uh, your new task is to stand over here and look pretty. Okay, so do that. And hopefully with less troops on the front line, I'll take less attrition. I think that's fair. I mean, that's my only guess. That's my only hope, is to take less attrition. Oh shit, we're out of, we're out of time. Alright, thanks for watching everyone. I've been Shane, you've been you. Come back next time, where Russia is attacking us now. Okay, so we're on the defense, finally. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.